Hello, Carl Till Webster. What's up, Dan? What's up, Kyle? <laughs> it I could be like. Uh, uh. <laughs> well, there he is. That's oh, that's Kyle. No, no, other way, other way, other way. <laughs> there's Carl. There's Carl, and here's me. And hi, everybody. Nice to see you all. It feels like it's been ages. Carl, how long does it feel to you? Yeah, I feel like I was gone way too long. That's very weird. I feel like I've been gone a year. Yeah, I know. That's been very strong. It's been a very long Easter. But we are here, we are ready, and we are ready to go. And it is, what is the session today, Carl T. Webster? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, boy, it's a tragic one. It's the Titanic. Although it has been a long enough time, we can we can talk about it without being sad for what happened. But uh, yeah. yeah, an epic event, an epic event in so many different ways. Yeah, I mean, this is a huge thing for um, Northern Ireland, of course. Um, but yeah, so uh, like loads of schools in Northern Ireland always do this. But uh, we also have lots of our Welsh friends here as well, which is always good. Uh, Pranounda, Sitviti, everybody. That's afternoon, and how are you? And that's about the limit of my Welsh, but there you go. At least I tried. You know, uh, you know all the words more than I do. Well, there you go. There you go. I'm in double figures. Right. Uh, let's uh, skip the duty up to the. Uh, let's go through rules because you've yeah. probably forgotten them because I definitely have. Uh, yeah, what yeah. Are the rules, Mr. Carlty Webster. I never forget the rules. I'm a big stickler for rules. Rule number one: make sure that if we're going too fast for you, go ahead and pause. And when you pick it back up again, you'll be right where you left off, so you do not have to feel rushed. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will be going back and forth between Carl and I. Uh, Kai will be uh, mastering the desktop. So if you're on a Chromebook, desktop, laptop, and I will be uh, botch jobbing the iPad. So if you're one of those, you'll probably follow me. But we'll go back and forth. So don't feel like you have to keep up exactly because you'll have plenty of time. Uh, but if you do feel you're getting too far behind, of course you can pause. Uh, number two. Okay, numero dos. We can give you free stuff. How do we do that? Well, I know, right? It sounds too good to be true, but it's really easy. Just finish the work. Finish the project, and if you finish it, tell your teacher. Your teacher can tell us, and then we find out how many of you finished it, and guess what? We send free stuff to you for yeah. finishing it. And there's probably quite a few teachers on here saying, um, I'm not even sure if that's true because we still haven't got ours. There is a backlog. It has been sorted out. I promise you things are literally getting packed up as we speak. So if you are still waiting for stuff from before Easter, don't worry, it is coming. Uh, I don't, you know, It's not often that I lie. <laughs> well, maybe, it is. but uh, I'm really not lying about this one. It will be, it will be there. Um, what happens if they like go the extra mile, though, Kyle, and they teach other people in their school in the role of digital leaders? You know, Don, it's just way too exciting. If you if you actually were to have not only completed the project but shown somebody else how to do it and taught them, educated them, enriched their lives with this information, That's we'll get the, the VIP. That was the phrase we were looking for: enrich their lives. Enrichment, enrichment. Um, then guess what? You get VIP swag. That's the extra good stuff. Yeah, and actually we've got loads of extra VIP swag new stuff. That wasn't in the right order, but anyway. Really? Yeah, we've got loads of stuff. We've got glue sticks. We've got colored pencil sets. We've got the notebooks that we always had. There's loads of stuff going on. So there will be a plethora of choice. <laughs> plethora. Great word. Yeah. Look it up, folks. Yeah, I know. A smorgasbord. It, even better. <laughs> I want to say smorgasbord is a Swedish, but I'm not entirely mm. sure. Not entirely sure. I think Carl's got it there. I mm. think he is the man of the languages. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's get something else up on screen quickly. Hang on. Let's get this up. Right. I did send out a false report earlier. <laughs> If you got my false reports, it was probably a, uh, you probably probably sent you the wrong link, but I have since emailed everybody. So hopefully you've got this link. I sent out the Welsh one instead of the English one. That's fine. You can use the Welsh one as well. Uh, Bit.ly forward slash Express Titanic 24. That's how you get to it. Not everyone can get you short links in school, but if you can, that's the way to go. If you're using an iPad, get that QR code going in your camera app. Uh, and if you can't access short links, uh, pester your teacher mercilessly until they send you the link that I sent them about five or six minutes ago. Right. 
Uh, we better move on because Meredith's probably on the live stream watching and he's like, I'm going to wait. I know they're going to take forever here. So let's crack on. Um, what do we need to do here? Well, I think what we'll do is maybe you get set up with a little uh, project first and then I'll do it on the iPad and then you can take us away with the fancy stuff. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it going on the uh, for project number one. We're going to be doing a poster. And I thought it'd be fun if everybody can think about what would you put in a lifeboat? If you had to get in a lifeboat when the Titanic is going down, you're in the lifeboat. What would you want to have with you to survive for at least 48 hours? But maybe not just the standard stuff that you'd think, food and water, but maybe some fun things as well to keep you occupied and and uh, and so on. So that's the idea. All right. Just now, like I said, of, um, of what you did, because it's amazing. You can see it on the challenge page. There it is. Yeah. Oh, so beautiful. And Carl, Carl Webster is going to show us exactly how this is done. This is going to be cool. It's as easy as pie. Here we go. Yeah. So when you're making a poster and you land it on the homepage in Express, you could scroll down and you'll see this very first row right here of goodies, one of which is a poster. But this might not always be the case. When you land on the homepage, you may not see that. And don't worry. If you don't see it, it's totally fine. You can go over here to the little purple plus and just tap on that. And here I'll type P O S T E and look, there's oh. a poster. There it is. Easy. Look at that. Boom. And that just launches our little blank canvas. And don't be intimidated by it being blank because right away we're going to add a sky. Let's go to our media right here. Oh, yeah. And uh, we're searching for photo here. And I'm just going to write blue sky. So that's now what I want to photos, wanted... isn't it? That's not, um, it's not an illustration or anything like that. It's actually a photo. Just a photo. There are so many. There are 14,000 results, more than you need. But what that, we want to do is the same number of fonts that we've got. Hey, you're right. You remember that fact. That's yeah. our little trivia for the day. Oh, How many fonts? <laughs> <laughs> Now, you want to keep it very simple, OK? Because a lot of these have a lot of clouds in them, and they get kind of busy. Uh -huh. But we're just looking for a very, very simple sky. So maybe something like that, OK? So it's got a little bit of cloud stuff in it, but nothing too fancy. And all I'm going to do is make it really big. It doesn't have to fill the entire canvas, but I'd say most of it or so. Yeah? Enormous. There it is. And before I pass it over to Dom, I'm going to name my file. Oh, ho, ho, he sneaked in there right at the last moment. Titanic poster. There we go. And whether that was going to happen or not. There and you go. Oh, Carlsy Webster pulls it out the bag. Right, Carl, <laughs> you've made it. You've made a choice here to kind of leave a gap at the bottom. Is that okay? Totally fine to leave a little bit of space because we're going to later add a bit of water and a boat and an iceberg. Oh, okay, cool. Right. Okay, let's go over here. Nice. So it uh, looks a bit different on the iPad, of course. Now, across the top, you have these scrolly scrollies. If you <laughs> scroll over a little bit, you'll get the poster one. It's actually, yeah, it might be right on the edge of your screen or a little bit further. But there it is. You click poster, and it comes up here. Double tap to edit text. Well, I'm going to tap it once and then go down to the bottom. You can see delete there. It's just grayed out. Get rid of it and then go to add. Go to hmm, Adobe Stock. You see that one there, right in the middle next to Shapes? We'll go to Adobe Stock. Uh, and then I think I'll go for Blue Sky because that's what Carl did. And Carl is my hero. Uh, so let's go to <laughs> Blue Sky. <laughs> and I mean, another smorgasbord. Of a smorgasbord of skies. Yeah, I know. I mean, is there any particular guidance you want to give me on sky or just general sky? <laughs> I think just keep it simple. If there, if it's full of clouds and stuff, um, it could be a little tricky to get the graphics sitting on top later to not look too busy. Yeah. Okay. So maybe something a bit plainer. That one might do. We can always change it later. Add one. You can see that right at the top there. Add one. Boom. Right. Where do you want to add it? Pin to background or move freely. Answers on a postcard. Carl Webster. It's over to you. Move. Freely, give yourself yeah. options, be flexible. Yeah. yeah, give yourself options, there we go. I could also like spin it. Sure, why not? Why not? I mean, maybe that wasn't, because it, does it look like the clouds are weird there? It does look a little weird, the vertical. Yeah, it's like you're in a plane and you're doing a barrel roll. We don't want to get people dizzy. 
<laughs> I love that. Right, there we go. That's looking kind of plain. And I'm going to click done in the bottom right. You can see it in the bottom right there. Nice. And then also, I wanted, I've got my fingers. I've got my fingers. I already <laughs> want to see those fingers. And then I'm going to put them on the, um, the, what am I doing? I'm putting them on the screen, the iPad screen, pinching out just so I can see everything. And then we're back over to the master. Here we are back on the desktop. desktop. All right, let's do it. So like I said, we're going to add a couple of other things. May as well just get right to it. First thing I'm going to add is an iceberg. So let's search for iceberg. Of course, not they the suggested lettuce. not the lettuce. I was just going to say it suggested that. Now, this guy is really good right here. I want a simple iceberg. Ba boom nice. Place it right there. Oh, yeah. And here's what I'm going to do, Dom. I know it seems like this wouldn't be possible because you think, well, there's sky, there's water, there are different colors. But I'm going to tell Express to remove the background. We're going to isolate the iceberg. Tap on the doggy. Iceberg. I like Look it. Look at this. Here it comes. Here it comes. Whoa. Bingo. Bingo. Really fast. I have to say, I'm very impressed. I'm going to make that big enough. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pop that down there. I want to leave room here in the center of the poster for all the goodies I plan on bringing on the lifeboat. Uh -huh. So somewhere down here in the bottom third, I think, you know, not much too, too much bigger than that. There goes my little iceberg. Now you may say, Kyle, listen, that iceberg's kind of hard to see against the blue sky. And I tell you, it's not a problem. And here's why. You can adjust the photos. Yeah. So for example, look at this here. Adjustments. If I tap on adjustments. I can increase the brightness, decrease the brightness. I just want to create more contrast. So it can go either way. It can go this way. Right. I can increase the contrast. I can decrease the contrast. There are all kinds of things I can do. Make the shadows lighter, darker, blah, blah, blah. All these things. It's nice to be able to make these changes. Okay. So I just want to make sure there's a little bit of contrast there. Yeah. Go even brighter. Maybe you can really see that iceberg there. Gotcha. Voila. And that's it. I add an iceberg. And the last thing I'll do before I pass it to you is add some water because that's also easy to do. So I'll just, I'm going to put ocean. And what I'm looking for here is a view. Imagine that you're in the ocean and your head is popped up in the ocean and you're just looking out towards the horizon. Yeah. Um, lots of, lots of uh, choices here. Here's a good one with that kind of angle, isn't it? Nice. And there's another one. So we'll just tap on that. And here's a trick. I want to put the ocean floor down here, kind of where it meets the iceberg, okay? Uh, Make it big enough. But there's a problem. There's a problem here. There is an and enormous problem. It needs I'm fixing immediately. <laughs> Everything's covered up. But check out these handles, we call them, on the photo. We have them on the corners, but we also have them on the sides of the photo. If I take this one and just drag it down, it will crop the image. Yeah. And the Ta -da! I can put the water right in front of that old iceberg. Nice. And there you go. Okay, cool. Right. So I see now why you've been leaving spaces and stuff like that. So let's um, mm -hmm. let's have a little pop of this. Right. So on the iPad, and you can catch up now if you're on the desktop, laptop, Chromebook. I'm going to go to Adobe Stock right in the middle there. Uh, I'm going to go for iceberg is my first iceberg. Yes, right. Well, that one's exactly the same as Kyle's. So, there you go. <laughs> that one, that looks cool. Maybe I'll try this one just to just to show some creative flair. Uh, oh. oh, move freely again. Let's always do move freely. Right. Okay. Now, I think it was pretty intentional that Carl made it go from one side to the other. Is that correct, Carl T. Webster? Um. No. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it covering the whole thing. I just think that's a good way to divide up the space. But you know what? It's your design. So okay. Well, let, let's go with that for now. And then you remove background on this, correct? I did. That makes it easy. Right. Let's remove background. Let's see if it does the magic stuff. Yeah. <laughs> ah, there you go. That was fast. It was very fast. It's unusually fast. Let's click done there. Then, in terms of contrast, I mean, to be honest, I don't mind that. How it is right now. Then you can go Yours to reads very clearly. I can see it very clearly. Yeah, I'm trying to remember contrast. Here we go. We could up some contrast here. I'm not even sure that makes it better. 
Hmm. Does it? Yeah. Don't know. I mean, as long as you can see it, it's up to you. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it there. That's all good. Just give it a little bit of contrast, and then the final piece de resistance uh, will be. Oh, français, français. <laughs> Carl is a francophile. Uh, let's go to Adobe Stock, and then we're going for Ocean. <laughs> and then let's go to Ocean. Right now, don't forget the way Carl did it was that he was looking for something with like a, a horizon line. Uh, so there's lots of different ones here. Hmm. I think I'm just this one will be very easy to do. I think this one you can see my spinny spinny. I think just tick there, add one at the top next to the search box. Right, let's go move freely again. I put it in there, so I'm going to stretch the handles out so it goes from one side to the other. Otherwise, that would be a funny looking ocean. Yeah, and then we'll go to edit here it's slightly different because on the desktop you have the crop handles already in there but we need yeah. to crop and shape down the bottom here then it will give you a sort of version of what carl had on the desktop you can pull that down just to there click done and then now also ah, very good yeah, but I'm thinking, does the iceberg need to go in front of the ocean or behind? Oh. It needs to go in front. Oh, no. The iceberg needs to be in the front. Doesn't matter. You can. I mean, the the water is going to be either way. It's going to be a perfect horizontal if the if the iceberg's off in the distance. So, well, that's true. Um, maybe. I mean, yeah. Yeah, maybe. it looks. Either way. Sure. Yeah, either way, that'll be fine. There we go. That's looking good to me, and it looks perfectly natural. So let's go, <laughs> let's go back to KTW. All righty. Well, what is this poster about? We haven't told anybody yet, so let's add some text. I'm going to come over here to the letter T, right under media, tap on T for text. Oh, and here's the big the name is T. Oh. Well, you know, you've decided it's Tyrone. We won't tell the people if that's true or not. <laughs> it's actually Kyle Text Webster. <laughs> Kyle Text Design Webster. Kyle Typeset Webster. <laughs> All right. And Kyle we're going to call this. No. What's that? Kyle Times New Roman. Kyle Titanic Webster. Oh, wow. That would be your ultimate trick. Look at this here, ultimate Titanic lifeboat. Now, this is not the most exciting looking text. However, we do have some pretty nifty things you can do here in Express with dynamic text. If I just tap on that dynamic option right there, I can then look at all the view, all, see this, all the nice recommended fonts. Lovely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like that, for example, that's kind of nice. What do you think? You can always look at more. These are all just suggestions from um, the robots that live in Express. Now, I, I'm not sure what they're thinking with this one because that does not look good. But, you know, it's there. Yeah. So here we go. Ultimate Titanic lifeboat. Very, very simple. Uh, but here's a great thing. I can still play around with it. I can change the colors. We can change the font from Acuta something else if we want to play around see what else you've got but i think it looks pretty good yeah. i will change the color though ultimate titanic lifeboat looks good with white it's not quite as clear as it could be up there so what can i do dom well look at this outlines text oh, effects yeah. shadows all these nifty things today we're going to use a shadow so oh, yeah. tap on shadow and I'm going to use the strong shadow. Okay. And let's change the color to blue. There we go. And let's have a look at that. Ultimate Titanic lifeboat. Very easy to read now. That's much better. I like it. Cool. So just put a sort of a little black shadow on it. The shadow is a dark blue. Oh, nice. Oh, that really works. Now, remember, you can 
<laughs> with your shadow. So tap on the shadow again. Um, <laughs> this little bit right here, this this little thing that has sliders, you can change the distance. Oh yeah. yeah. And it's good to get it to right where you feel like it's it's legible, it's not too far away, it's not too close. And it adds just enough pop. And there mm -hmm. you go. Very cool. Yeah. Ultimate Titanic lifeboat. That's what we're talking about today. So I put that up there. That's my little title. Um, do you want to have a go? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm in, I'm I'm right in there, deep in thought. All right, let mm -hmm. me get rid of this. Let me show you how to do it from scratch. Edit, delete. Okay, so I go to add. Go to text all the way over the right left hand side, even there. Okay. Then we'll go to now. If you double click on the shift, it will make it all uh capitalized. All so caps. Here, all caps. There we go. Ultimate Titan no, Titanic Life Boats. Okay. So I'm gonna go to done. interesting i mean that i mean that's a disservice that's not a bad font i don't mind that um maybe like saw sands would be good i did that um what did i do before I can't... yeah i thought that one was quite cool so i'll do that one that's fine now now that i've chosen it i can go to spacing you see spacing there mm. and then i can adjust just give a little breathing space between the lines even adjust the letters a little bit. And then I can also go to effect. And then, did you do shadow or outline? Do you know what, maybe I'll do shadow. I did a shadow, but an outline would work fine too. And you know, yeah. your sky, your sky's a little darker than mine too. And it, it may even read without any of those effects, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, but I'm liking the, um, I'm liking the use of the, the kind of, um, it's a, uh, like a deep blue. For mm -hmm. the effect there, that's cool. And then you can change the distance of it, which is kind of cool. Uh, the direction, it doesn't really matter that one, I suppose. The, the distance doesn't seem to be doing a great deal. Oh, it's going the distance down, I think. There we go. Done. There we go. I'm happy with that. Is there anything else we need to do? No, you're caught up. Cool. Let's get in. Let's get in there. So now I've got my title. If I want to be fancy, I can, of course, go ahead and add a little graphic to it or something like that. Maybe you could go to your brand elements, uh, sorry, design elements right here. And I could search for a lifesaver. And wow, what on earth is happening there? I've never seen that before. <laughs> Look at that. The way it's flickering, yeah. That Whoa! is it. Oh, crazy. It's like too much coffee. Express has had too much coffee. <laughs> and there's a little lifesaver I can put over there. And, you know, ultimate Titanic lifeboat, Ooh, whatever. Again. What's that? Where did you find that? That's in my design elements. Oh, your design elements. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. Put it right there. Hey, you want to be really fancy? You know, put it over the O or something. And, you know. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a good tip. I like that. Yeah, you know, if it if it fits and it kind of like covers it, it's kind of hard to make that work. But you could you could sort of fake it if you want. Could you, you know if you want to be if you want to be a super fancy person, and you know sometimes I, I like to try. I don't want it as well. I think that works well. Like you could it. also you know if you're in design elements, you could go ahead and grab a shape that's a cycle, <laughs> like. Like so, oh, come on now, Express. Stop showing me the search. There we go. Take that circle, plop it there, uh, right, right over the text. And um, so, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll fill it with that color. You know, go like this. Use my eyedropper, and uh, now I'll just pop it right there. Ooh, nice. And then drag it behind the. Uh, the lifesaver see that now you'd never know there was an o back there that's true so there's a there's a fancy little trick for you that is a fancy trick i like that fancy trick we're all about the fancy tricks it, it's so fun yeah <laughs> yeah anyway um all right we don't spend too much time on that but 
there's just, just, you know, giving you ideas, giving you ideas. All right, so what do we need next? We need a boat, don't we? So let's go to media. And here's my trick. I search for small boat. And the very first option there in the top right is so perfect. I love that option. That is the least fancy trick you've ever done on here. Well, I'll tell you why it's a fancy trick. Because <laughs> uh, it's knowing what to search for. I would have searched for lifeboat. Yeah, true. But when you search for lifeboat in Express, you get these big fancy RNLI boats. You get the, you know, you have all these different, and you don't get this. We just need a simple, this is the kind of lifeboat you would have seen on the Titanic, just a basic boat yes. hanging off the side of the ship. Yeah. Now that's what I'm going to use. I'll plop it right down there. Of course, once again, we have a problem. But that big white area around the boat. Mr. Dog will help us with that. So tap on the doggy and bye bye. Last little thing we'll do with this before I pass it over to you. Yeah. Is because this boat is meant to be sitting in the water. I knew it. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Here it comes. We are going to erase a little bit of it. Now you can do this on the iPad too. Um, if you want, you can simply do this, just crop it a little bit. Yeah. Remember that cropping trick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That works fine. You can crop yeah. it. Um, but if you want to try something else, you can use the erase option. Very and cool. with erasing, you can, in where it says brush, change it from quick selection to circle brush. You can adjust the size of the brush right here. And then you could do like a little kind of a wavy thing like this and just kind of get rid of all Oh, that. nice. That's Look nice. That. Yeah, very cool. And that looks like it's in the water, you know? Yeah. Let me add it. Let me add it. Let me add it. Go for it. Go for it. Okay. Right. Uh, okay. Let's get, let's get, let's um, show Uncle Fancy Pants what we're made of. Right. So <laughs> let's go. Now, design elements, not the same in the iPad. Uh, I've checked design assets. There's nothing in there that we, that's going to work for this lifesaver. Go to Adobe Stock and check this out. This is, this is funny. Uh, if you go to Lifesaver in here on the iPad, you actually the best one is I mean, you actually do have a Titanic London one. Oh my gosh, I know, which is bizarre. Uh, that is so think, great, yeah, I know it's weird, isn't it? So there's kind of two next to each other here that might work. So I'll put them both in for now, move freely, that's fine, and then just select them, remove background on that one. Uh, bish bash bosh and then in that one uh remove background as well so then you've got a choice then you can do what you want uh you could try and put it over the o i feel like maybe in the ipad uh we're gonna we're gonna we'll probably not change it with the o uh but you can decide where you want to put these and also what order you want to put them in as well so i might get that to go behind the text maybe that's too big just pop it behind the text that's fine but just choose one of those. They can go wherever you like. Uh, we'll, Kyle will be putting the shape around the text and things like that, so you can play around with it a bit later. But there's two lifesavers that you can use. Then uh, uh, Mr. Fancy Pants also did <laughs> a small boat. That was his trick of the year. Trick of 2024, small boat. Pretty weak trick. You're right. It, it could have been a better trick, I think. Kyle, of all the incredible tricks that you've shown us, that is <laughs> Is the, that is the most regular. Right. Um, <laughs> Kyle is the master of fancy tricks. So that one right in the middle. I'm going to go for that one. A tired, distressed looking one. Add one. Move freely. Everything's moved freely. Ooh, that's and a good then, boat. That is a good boat. boat. I like it. It's got character. Mm. Uh, remove background. Fish, bash, bash. Put it in there. Now. Mm. To do here is oh right oh you see I did that wrong well like I, I was zooming in with my fingers I really want to show those fingers mm -hmm. uh but if I tap on the gray parts outside of this image and then move in uh scroll it up there then I can be a bit more precise when it comes to cropping and shaping so I can just tuck that up there so it looks oh, like that it. looks yeah that does it yeah sitting in the water there um yeah, maybe something like that looks fine to be honest. Yeah, that's fine. That's actually worked out really well. I'm pleased with that. Yeah, there is a edit cutout would be the one, wouldn't it, where you could be a bit more. If you wanted to erase, yeah, you can use that edit cutout. Uh, it works quite yeah. well. But I think what you've got there looks quite uh, convincing. 
yeah exactly so i think i'm gonna stick with that just for uh brevity as well right there we go right what, what's next what's next well see you've you've inspired oh. me I went, and got, I went and got it and stuck it on the boat <laughs> nice love it all right so what's next well we need to tell people what we're putting on the lifeboat so um if you look at the the example in the poster we use some cloud shapes any shape is fine it doesn't have to be that i'm just going to use a simple shape and i was going to put four things on my lifeboat would you have time to do more if you wanted to do five or six or whatever you can arrange them however you like but we have all this space now here in the middle of the poster to show people what we would bring on the lifeboat and the way i'm going to start is i'm going to use uh, design elements um and uh, for it'll be different on the iPod, uh, iPad, but for those of you on the on the desktop, you can use icons. And I'm just going to search cloud, and you get this shape right here. And I'll place that on the canvas and make it white. There we go. And to keep things simple, I'm going to do four for now. Make them a bit bigger. Yeah. And I'm go. I'll duplicate this shape three times. So let's start once. There we go. Another one, two, and three. So now I've got four of them. Okay. And you could make your design, you know, look like this if you want. You don't have to have them all lined up together. This is following the shape of that, um, that iceberg a little bit, which is kind of fun. You know, you could do something like that. Oh, cool, yeah. You know, but don't have to. Um, they could just be arranged in a square if you like. Um, it really does not matter. It's it's totally fine. Uh, but now that I've got them there, I can place things inside of these shapes. Um, and for me, I'll just go ahead and use the things that I had mentioned before when I, I showed the example poster, which would be extra blankets, cookies, mm -hmm. board games, and bottled water. So what I'll do is I'll go to media and I'll search for each of those four things, blankets, cookies, board games, bottled water. And when I get some photos I like, I'll place them on the canvas. And here's a little trick for you, a little tip. Search for... That'd be a good one. Search for photos that have a white background because you can knock it out more easily and then you can place it very nicely in the cloud um, yeah. and it'll look good. Nice. Okay, so do you want to try the clouds while I search for my images, or shall I go ahead and start doing that? Yeah, no, I'll do that. That sounds good. All right, let me get across. Okay, cool. So I've reduced the size of my lifesaver, just so it's behind there. And then I'm going to go to add now. Again, uh, we're going to have to go to, uh, what are we going to have to go to? Design assets here, I think. Yeah, design assets go to cloud. Uh, good shapes. Yeah, there are some good shapes. Now, the, the one thing that is good about the iPad is that you can, I mean, what I'm going to do, so that so that I don't have to color them afterwards, you can change the color on them, and it is easily done. But actually, uh, I'm just going to select these three here. And then, I, you know, they're all reasonably similar, but different in a way, which is good. I'm going to add all three of them. And then maybe what I'll do is I'll get one, maybe this one, that was a bit big there. And then maybe I will go to edit. Duplicate, you see that one there, duplicate. Get it again. So now we've got four because we need four. And then what I can do is, you know, just turn it upside down. And then it looks ah, like, good trick. yeah, then it might be look, look like a different shape. Now, cars are smaller so that you can fit them all on there, something like that. And then they definitely don't have to be all the same size. Mm -mm. Uh, but they need to be small enough not to sort of dominate this whole poster. So you have to just play around a little bit until you get into the right spots. That'll do, I think. Nice. Yeah, that looks fine. Right. Let's go, Webster. All righty. So here we go. I'll search for blankets. I'll just do one at a time. Blankets. There we go. We'll add some blankets. Okay. And then I'll come right back to my media, and I'll search for the next thing. I'll just do all four at once, and then I'll resize them. And mess around with them cookies lots of cookie results remember i'm looking for something simple that'll fit in the cloud so a single cookie would work nicely maybe a small group of cookies a little pile of cookies this is kind of nice use that 
Uh, next, I'll search for our board games. And we have some pieces there that look good. Um, some pieces here. All of these are good at suggesting. There are like some chess pieces there. Remember, I'm looking for something that I can easily cut out. Um, so the background is important, isn't it? Right. I don't want it to be super complex. Mm -hmm. I think this kind of does a good job. It just suggests that we're playing some chess. Although it might it might include the reflection, but that's not the end of the world. Um, and finally, we'll go back to media. We had one more thing, and that was bottled water. Got to stay hydrated, and you that's can't true. drink seawater. No. There's a good bottle. That's an excellent survival tip. <laughs> not only is this about digital literacy, it's also about survival on the high seas. It's right. That's a very important thing for everybody to learn. Um, now, each of these, I'm going to simply tap on it, tap on the doggy. So that's all I'm doing now. And it'll just remove the background one at a time, tap on the cookies. We'll wait for that magic, tap on the water, tap on the chess piece. And you don't have to wait for me to do that, but if you want to um, do some image searches now, go ahead. I'll yeah. keep doing this. All right, cool. Right, so uh, go to add, go to Adobe Stock because that's where all the free um, safe images are. Now, um, cookies. Do I want cookies? I think I probably want bananas because, you know, even though we're in a disaster situation, it's good to stay healthy, people. So. <laughs> Let's go. So bananas, that'll do. Okay, move right freely. Always move freely. Well, not always move freely, but in this instance, yes. Now, don't forget, remove. Well, I'm going to remove background as I go, I suppose. Remove background. That's one. I'm done. Resize. Pop it in a cloud. I can change the size of them later. Um, then Adobe Stock. What am I going to search for this time? Maybe Carl went for blankets. Maybe I'll go for sleeping bag. Mm -hmm. Very Maybe good. Practical. I just want to do something that's a bit different. And actually, that one doesn't work because these, there's nothing I can really remove the background on here. Uh, mm. ah. yeah. Maybe that doesn't work. Maybe like hat. Flashlight. Hmm. Oh, flashlight. That's a good one. Flashlight or torch, uh, depending on where you're located. This one here. The orange one is much brighter. That'll be a much nicer visual. Mm. Uh, one, move freely, remove background. Again, if you want to move a song, Carl, you probably can because I'm just doing what you did before, I suppose. It's just getting photos. And then add Adobe Stock. I'll just do one more. Um, board games. You need board games. Maybe I'll do... Telescope. telescope. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, it'll be a similar shape to a torch, I suppose. But that's, yeah, okay. that's okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, binoculars. That'll do. <laughs> that looks great. <laughs> Let's do it. God, do that. Otherwise, I mean, you might as well do some whale spotting while you're there. Of course. Yeah. Don't miss out on a chance of some wildlife. Right. I agree. I agree. <laughs> There we go. Why don't you um, why don't you take us on to the next step now? Sure. Okay. Now let's see where we are here. I have arranged each of these elements to sit on the cloud. You notice I let them break out of the cloud. I think that's kind of nice. And because the sky has enough of a lighter value, it's not super dark. Um, you can easily see these things. Um, so yeah, I'm allowing each of them to kind of pop out. Got the blankets there. And look at the blankets. They're pink all of a sudden. What I did was I tapped oh, on nice. the photo of the blanket. Yeah, and went to effects. And here's this fancy thing you can do called duotone. Yeah, that made it much better because they actually were quite muted, weren't they, in their tone? They were a little drab. Now, while I've got that, I can go to my adjustments and bump up the contrast and bump up the brightness and the highlights and i can play around and really try and get more contrast there as well yeah. so you know you can do all kinds of things um but yeah it's neat that you can adjust the photos that way so play around with some of those and see what you see what you get so here's where we are so far now of course people can see what these things are but let's just go ahead and label them as well once again we go to text add your text 
and I'll say board. Okay, yeah. Games. Um, at the same time, I don't think uh, they need to see that twice. I'll do it at the same time. Sure, sure. And I'll use a nice typeface that I think is a bit more interesting than whatever shows up as the very first option. And what I'm going to do with each of these is add a little shape to contain um, this, this lettering. And if you tap on your text after you've sized it about where you want it to be, there's a nifty trick here you can use called shape. Yes. Scroll on down to your options, tap on shape. And not only do you have plenty of choices down here and even more down here, but uh, I'm going to keep it simple and use this shape. It's called a pill. And it's this oh, yeah. one that has, uh, it's like a rectangle with rounded edges. And once you've got it, look for this. Look for the circle that's white with little sliders in it. Because this will allow you to edit everything in there. Uh, for the text fill, I'm going to use the same blue as what I used for the Titanic lifeboat. Or maybe the red right there is nice from the little... Um, lifesaver there. How do you do that? You use your eyedropper tool. This allows me to move anywhere around my design and find a color I like. So that'll work. Oh, okay, cool. Now, it automatically selected this yellow. Who knows why? But I don't want that. I'm going to go into the shape fill color and change that to be something completely different. Um, in fact, now that I look at it, you know what I'm thinking I'll do? I think. I'll do this. I'm going to use my eyedropper and use this dark blue from the shadow and then change the type color right here to white. Oh, yeah. So I just reverse it out like that. OK. And uh, next, um, because I've got enough space, I'm going to tape my text. And look, anywhere I move it, you'll see that the pill shape travels with it. I'm going to pop it up on top of the cloud to make it sort of like a unit, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'll just center it like that. And I'm good to go. And now all I have to do is duplicate this a few times, OK? Yep. And do the same for the other three. And we're pretty much there. Yeah. That makes a big difference, doesn't it? Because you don't have to um you don't have to do it five times or four times. No, we don't want to do that. No. We like to be efficient. Yeah, that's true. I'm struggling with mine. Struggling how to make the, the pill like significantly bigger than the text. Mine's very, very tight. You know, there's some option to increase the shape of the, the size of the shape that contains the text, although at least maybe yeah. it's not available on iPad, but I think it is. I think it is as well. I just can't find it right now. It's well, you can also just do it without the pill. You can just have that. I mean, you have a nice light sky, right? So it should fit fine. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it still works. It's fine. It's just uh, that one's a bit better, I suppose. That will do. Right. Let me uh, let me have a crack at this. Go so, for it. so all I did here was I typed that one, which was bananas. I might, so let me do one from scratch at least. Go to text. Uh, and, like that. and I'll type out uh, binoculars. Uh, okay. Now it's automatically put the shape on there, so I can go into the little. You can see underneath shape. There's like these three little sliders. Go there. And this is where you can change things like the color. So it's on, in my suggested is that yellow. So I'll, I'll, I'll stick with the yellow. That's fine. Mm -hmm. And then if I go done again, um, I can change the size of the font here and then just move it into place. And you'll see that it's given me this dotted line, which is like, hey, that's really nicely centered underneath your binoculars. There we go. You're going to put it there. And then once you've done one, go to edit and duplicate you see there and then you basically get exactly the same size and all the rest of it here i can just double tap the text change that to torch um that's funny isn't it i think i saw, read something about this the other day torch in the us 
would actually be like a flaming torch is that right yeah correct yeah because flashlight is something that we definitely are comfortable with using but it wouldn't be as normal i suppose yeah duplicate and then this one last one double click the text and this will be uh i just put water there we go okay i'm there what have we got what else we got to do mr webster well, I think we're pretty good. If you want to add one little funny thing just for kicks, if you want to add your pet in the boat because you need some company, some animal company, <laughs> why not? Yeah. You know, That's a nice idea. That's it. Sure, I'll just put a cat in there. I don't have a cat. I love cats. Cats make me sneeze, but I just I do love them. So <laughs> put the cat there, uh, remove the background, and you know how to do this. I'm sure you'll figure this out. Yeah. If you want to make it look like the cat is in the boat, what do you think you would do? Ah, uh, nice. We will just oop, just crop like that. There's the kitty in the boat. Nice, easy. I love it. <laughs> That's such a Cartier Webster thing. <laughs> <laughs> right, let me have a go at that. So I go. I'm on the stage here. Instead of going for a cat, I've gone for a parrot because <laughs> who doesn't love a parrot? Let's go there. Add it in. Move freely, uh, remove background. You can see it there. Bish bash bosh, kablam, and then <laughs> and then pop it in there. Right, I can't really see what's going on, so I tapped on the gray bit outside. I'm using my fingers to zoom in, and then I can really make this work. There we go. Get my parrot. Come on, Mister. There we go. He's no, right. No, no. Just a bit big, maybe. It's like the biggest pirate you've ever seen. <laughs> Goes done. And then there you go. Nice little pirate. Oh, oh. Right. I just um, reduced the size of my sky. That's okay. Tick in the top left. I'm going to tick that. And then you'll see the back arrow, top right. Fix that. Boom. We're done. Thank goodness for undo. Well, now all you have to do is share it with the world and you're good to go. Yeah. Okay. Let me do that mine because I'm, I'm at least I'm on the screen. You can download it with the top right and it will just go, hey, download it to your camera roll. Three, two, one. And then you can do the up arrow and then you can press share. And then here it's going to go, hey, what do you want to do? And then you can go. <laughs> Copy link right in there and it'll do its thing. And you can stick that wherever you like. Right, Mr. Webster, show us that on the desktop, please. Yes, sir. All right. So download up here in the top right. That's going to give you a PNG. Great format for graphics. Doesn't lose any quality. Looks nice and clean. You download it, share it. And then, of course, you have the option to the right of it to share. And this will give you several options. You can copy a link. You can publish it to the web or save it in any one of these places. And um, everybody can see your masterpiece. The end. <laughs> <laughs> nice. OK. Right. Let's uh, let's take that off for a second. Let's put this back on. Right, that was challenge one. That has been kablammed. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I just love that. I mean, I like the, this thing you did with the supplies thing over here. Yeah, if you want to add that, it's just a, a um, you now know how to do text with a pill shape. Yeah. And all I did was stick an arrow on it with the same color. Yeah. I also really like this shape that you put on it. I don't know why I like it so much, but I just make, think it makes it look super cool. Thanks. You know, I with more time, if we had more time, we could play around yeah. more with type design because I used three different fonts there. And yeah. Um, but in the interest of time, we, we simplified it a bit. But I think everybody should experiment with that stuff. Yeah, for sure. Right. Challenge two, Titanic in Numbers web page. So for this one, you will actually need to kind of copy and paste from here. Mm -hmm. That's something that you'll definitely need to do. Uh, so um, are you all right to lead and I follow on this one, Carl? We can certainly do that. Yeah. <laughs> So use some of the following information from National Geographic to build a web page of interesting facts about the Titanic. I like this one. Titanic and numbers. I've never thought to do it like this, and I like this. 
Remember, you can add some other facts that you found, your own images, even the poster from Challenge 1. Very cool idea, actually. So you've got lots of different facts here, and they all represent, you could do them as uh, different sections in your web page. Now, yeah. where am I? Where, on, where in the world am I? What I'll do is, <laughs> uh, what I will do is, I will just show quickly how to start um, a web page if you're on an iPad. Good okay. idea. Good idea. Because once you're actually in the Spark page app, it's basically the same. You don't really need to see both of us do it. But I will yeah. do it as time as Carl and just show maybe, you know, a slightly different version or something. So go to Spark page. If you're in the app, it's that one there, the one right in the middle. Spark page goes here. You press the plus, the big blue plus at the bottom. There we go. And then, you know, this is, <laughs> we're there. <laughs> we're ready to go, ready to rock and roll. How would they how would they do that on the desktop? Kyle? Here we go. I'm going to tap on the little A, which is the logo for Express. This will take us back to our home page. Now, with the new Express home page that you're seeing here, and hopefully everybody's seeing this um, should look the same for you. There is this big purple rectangle that says build a web page. So very easy to get to right there. Now, again, if for some reason you happen not to see this layout, maybe it's possible some, some versions haven't been updated. I'm not entirely sure, but I think everybody should see this. If you don't see this, again, you always have this purple plus. So you can type WEB, and there's your option for a web page. So not to worry. All right, so we'll say build a web page, and you'll see this will look exactly like what Dom just showed us. There we go. All right, so our title, we just scroll on down here. Titanic in numbers. So I'll just type Titanic in numbers. <laughs> Subtitle. Well, you can put whatever you want, you know, but I'll just put my name. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that as well. Kyle Tyrone Webster. <laughs> All righty. Now. We need this to look a little nicer than this. So let's tap on the plus. This is where you get options for what you want to do with your title and your cover for your website. I'm going to use a photo. First thing I'll do is search Titanic. What happens if I search? Ah, look at all these interesting options. OK. Um, well, we see once again the Titanic London life uh, saver, but I, I, this is kind of a good one right here. It's got it in the water. I'll put that there. Now, before we go any further, I just want to mention that there's some cool things you can do with web pages here in Express to change their appearance. And right off the bat, I'm going to do that using this little magic wand. This is a representative, uh, representation of our themes. So if I just tap on that, I'm going to see all these fun themes. And I'm going to use Baldwin, but you can use whatever you like. Um, and what this will do is it'll take my design, and everything will stay the same in terms of the photos I've used and the, the type I want to use, et cetera, the layout. But it will change the way the, the fonts are presented, and it'll change um, sort of the effects that you get when you decide whether text is going to be a header or a list. It also changes the colors a little for the text. All righty, so give that a try. Okay, I'll pass it over to you, Dom, and let's see how it goes. Yeah, okay, cool. Right, uh, where am I? I'm here. Right, so I'm deep in Google Images here because, oops, not there, let's go, uh, let's go here. Right, so I did Titanic and Numbers, put my own name down there as well. Now, you can click on uh, the gray part, any of the gray part photo will come up, you can go there. Now, is if you go to find free images and you put in Titanic, it'll say, hmm, no results. That's not so good. Ah. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, you could go to something like Ocean Liner. I wonder what that will give us. No. Um, shipwreck. Oh, yeah. Nothing. I'm getting absolutely nothing. Oh, like... I can't believe Shipwreck wouldn't give you. A... Should you yeah. get a bunch of it's actually not just giving. It's actually not giving me anything at all. For oh, I think Express might be acting funny. That's what that is. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm going into here. It keeps on 
Then it means it's dreamy. I don't want that. Oh, there um, you go. Yeah, exactly. So I can go to Titanic. I can go in here. And then when you're using it for educational use, you see, uh, normally you would, you would do things like search for Creative Commons licenses. You can go to your search tools, mm. open those up, and search for Creative Commons licenses, which means you're welcome to use it. But actually, because you're using it for educational use, you're allowed to use it anyway. So mm. what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click uh, saving photos. Now, that doesn't particularly look like a particularly good quality image. This one does, however. So what I'll do is I'll hold my finger on save in photos. That's cool. And then when I go back then to Titanic in numbers, I can click on here, go to photo. And then on my iPad, recents. There we go. Boom. That's looking good scroll to start writing your story okay so that's where we go to i mean you could start off with some text so you might go to something like uh you go not now thank you um so you could grab this first section here you might want to put some introductory text you know here is a website uh which is all about the titanic in numbers something like that uh, but i'm going to copy this first bit of text for now copy um, eighty thousand pounds. Would you pay eighty thousand pounds for a ticket? That is a crazy amount of money. You could buy a whole bunch of houses and sports cars, and I don't know what else. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly. But you see, uh, so I could put that in as a section. But let me just show you something funky on the iPad. I go to text here, uh, and I could go to my microphone button. Here is a website, uh, all about the Titanic, and some of the fascinating facts and figures about this world famous ship full stop oh, nailed it and then i could go to header two maybe something like that there you go keep that as a kind of header if you want you don't have to you could just go straight into your facts so one of the easiest ways to do facts is press the plus uh go to split layout and then you've got image on one side, you've got text on another. So don't forget that I, I got some of that text before. So I'll go here, uh, oops, go to text, and then hold my finger down until it goes to paste. There we go. Now, you see along the top, I've got header one, header two, quote, the apostrophes there. Uh, what I think I'm going to do here is just maybe go to header one. That'll be cool. 80,000. Uh, and then on the left hand side, maybe, uh, I mean, I think probably I'm not going to find anything again. If I go to, I think something's playing up with my, but if I put ticket in here, no specific results. So I'm going to have to go to Google again and I'm going to have to search for ticket. Okay. So maybe um, while I'm doing that, Carl, you can go back and show people how to do it on the desktop. No worries. Easy peasy. Here we go. So I've got my title, and uh, now we want to start exactly what Dom just did there. He started to scroll, and in doing so, he was presented with some options. Now, uh, if you want, you can do what Dom just did, which is create a little area with text. And by tapping here, we can write what we want to say. So we'll say, um, welcome to this fascinating look at some of the statistics and other numerical facts about the titanic let's take a look all right now i select the text and if you notice we have the same options that don presented I can try all three, and we'll choose the one we like the best. H1, whew, that's a bit big. H2, that's a little better. And quotes, eh, not into that one. We'll use H2, and we'll make it centered, like so. And now we're off to the races. So we have our text. We need to now add the split screen that we just had a look at. So this plus right here, underneath our text, will give us those options. Split layout is the very last one. Tap on that. And now you can see what Dom saw, where we have room for an image, and we have room for our text. 
There's a little button in the middle with two arrows facing in opposite directions. This button allows you to swap the image and the text from one side to the other. So you can choose to put it wherever you like. As for adding an image, well, you saw that I didn't have that many results with the Titanic, probably not as many as I would like. I could go and do a Google image search, but I could also do some things like think about what is it that I want to put for my first fact. So let's look over here at the facts that are listed. 80,000 pounds, the most expensive tickets. OK, and that's the one that Dom just used a moment ago. The second one says the Titanic was almost as long as three football fields. So what happens if I type football field? And we get some nice results. Now, of course, unfortunately, we're seeing a lot of American football. Boo. Let's go ahead and put soccer. Soccer field. Ah, oh, there we go. That's the ticket. All right, we'll just go ahead and um, see if we can find one that's vertical. And if not, we'll just use this one. Bam. All right. Now, I push that. I put that image in there because I want to use a fact that relates to it. We'll travel right back here. And what I'm going to do is copy the text, but not the number. So the text that comes after the number, the Titanic was almost as long as three football fields. I'll copy that. If you're looking for a way to copy with the keyboard, you can hit Control C on the keyboard, or you can right click and you'll be able to uh, copy as well. There you go, copy. We'll come back. And here we want to add our text. Paste that in. Control V. Why yeah. is it Control V? Who knows? The yeah. Titanic was almost as long as three football fields. To me, this is one that needs to have a little exclamation point. So I'm going to change that to an exclamation point. Now we're missing the number three. But what I will do differently here is this little plus sign. We'll add text again. And I'll simply type the letter three. Number three, pardon me. Um, and then when I type on the three and select it, tap on the three, I'll use one of these headers, like so, and then center it. And now we've got the number, and we've got the fact underneath it. I think I'll take this fact, and I'm going to see if I can break it as long as, let's see. Ah, breaking it does not work. OK, what if I do a, um, no. OK, I was going to try and change the way that it the, the type broke, because we have the word fields all alone. And in design lingo, that is called a widow, where you have a, a one little word all by itself on a line. It never looks so good. Um, yeah. So what I'll do instead, you can try the quote function, maybe, see what that looks like. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just adding text. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> yeah. 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 That's a great idea, I think. So, you know, you work, work with what you got, folks. Um, we'll center that as well. So now what we have is we have our, our first fact and we have our, um, our number and we've separated them out. And I think that's a pretty good layout. And what you want to do is you want to go forward and make more of these in the same fashion. And a fun thing to do would be when I add another one. So remember, if you start scrolling down, you start to see options. If I add another split layout, well, it's really nice because Express has decided for me that the image will now live on the right side and the text will go on the left. So it's swapping them automatically just to keep things interesting. So I'll do one more, and then we'll do a glide show. And I think we'll, yeah. we'll call it a day. What do you say, Dom? Yeah, that sounds good. You doing OK on your end? Are you having trouble with the images, or is it OK? Uh, I'm trying to save a load of them now, and then I'll be able to do something with them. All right, no worries. I'll keep going. And by the way, remember, folks, everything I'm doing here looks the same on the iPad, so you can all follow along at the same pace. All right, so for the next fact, let's see what we have here. To feed the passengers and crew. All right, now this one, I think we'll use a glide show for that because it has related um, items, these food items, okay? So we'll skip that for now, and I'll say, um, let's see, including the four smokestacks, the Titanic was as tall as a 17-story building. Well, that's crazy, crazy. Um, 
And then let's see, each day the passengers and crew used 14,000 gallons of drinking water. I'll use that one because then I can use another image. And it could be drinking water. And we'll try that. So I've copied my text. And you know what to do. You paste your text. And we center it. And we need a number. We'll put 14,000. And we're going to make that H2 and center. I think I made it H1, didn't I? Yeah, I made it nice and big. There we go. And we also need an image. So let's go ahead and add our image. Drinking water. All right, we see people drinking water. We see glasses with water. And we see, this is kind of nice. There we go. It's just a pretty picture. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. So now if I scroll up, I will see what we've built so far, OK? Now, if you're wanting to see what this will look like when somebody actually visits your web page, you can check that immediately by tapping on the little play button. It says present. And once I do that and start scrolling, you'll see the effects. Nice. Here we go. Welcome to this fascinating look. Da, 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 da. Almost as long as three football fields. Isn't that amazing? Nice and clean. Yeah, that is really clean. I like that. I like the way you've got those numbers like really clear. Um, there we go. Maybe I can show a guy show. Should I do that? Sure. Cool. Right. So. Uh, I've been going to Google to get my images, got my top one there, got my uh, introduction, found a ticket. I think it's actually, it's not actually a real ticket. I think someone just drew it up, but that's cool still. That's okay. So that's one of split layouts. Uh, I think I like Carl's way of like, he, he did the number and then he did the fact and he did them on separate lines. So you could do that if you wanted to. I think, I mean, it's easy enough to change. You just tap in there, go to there and then maybe get rid of the colon. And then you know center it something like that and then maybe this section you could make it h2 uh and center that as well something like that that would be a nice way to do it sort of in the, in the style that carl did but let's go down to glide show here uh now it says you know add your images now i've got lots of images that I went and saved here because the the section i'm looking for is this one here to feed the passengers and the crew titanic had forty thousand eggs 40 tons of potatoes 7,000 heads of lettuce, 36,000 apples, and 1,000 loaves of bread. Right. So I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to go back to my glide show. And I've got to try and remember what order they were in. <laughs> um, <laughs> eggs, potatoes, lettuce, apples. Eggs, potatoes, apples, lettuce. And that would mean bread goes at the end. Okay. Now, done in the top right. That gets my glide show in there. Now, what I've got is I've got text boxes on all of these. I'm just going to take that one and put it over to the right hand side. And then I'm going to press the plus, go to text, and I'm going to add in my text by going to paste. OK, now I could change the format of the size of those. Actually, I think I can go ahead of one. The reason why I can do that is because what I'm going to do is oh, I'm going to select Oh, come on, don't play silly beggars now. Uh, oh, no, you're not going to do that to me, are you? <laughs> What's happening? What I'm trying to do is, no, it's not going to do it. Right, so what I'll do is, at 40,000 eggs, I'm going to delete this. It can be a little tricky on the iPad with pasting and things like that. So I'm going to bring that to 40,000 eggs. Great. Then I'm going to scroll down to my next section. This is the potato section. Press the plus. Go to text. Now paste in that very same thing. But now we don't need 40,000 eggs. What we need is 40 tons of potatoes. Okay. There we go. Just pop that there. And then I need to delete all of this bit. And all I'm doing is just having a little. There we go. I'll put a dot, dot, dot. That'll be fine. Ah, nice. 
the ellipses, I think. Ellipse, yeah. ellipses. Uh, and then I can go to my apples. And then I'll paste this bit in here as well. So now I don't need anything. Well, actually, I think I've done this in slightly longer order, but that's okay. 36,000 apples again. Tick, 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 tick. Uh, how do they keep this stuff fresh, like the apples? How do they keep the apples from spoiling? Yeah, I mean, that's a good point, really. Uh, who knows? Maybe. I mean, I know that they used to do things like get, like, blocks of ice, didn't they, and kind of have a makeshift yeah um, fridge and stuff like that i don't know <coughs> and then, so you basically just do that for all of those sections making sure that you've just got the the text you need and you can also move your boxes over to different sides just to kind of make it a little bit more interesting for the reader i suppose so you've got that one in the center forty thousand eggs that one on the left so maybe this one will go on the right and then the heads of letters i mean it may be a quicker way would be to go back here and actually reduce it here. 7,000 heads of lettuce. Cop the oh, yeah. And then come into here. Which one should this? This needs to be on the left. That's good. Text. Pop it in there. H1. There we go. And then the final one is the bread. And that's on the right hand side. So I'm just making my viewer just go left, right, left, right, left, right. Uh, just means that they're being a bit more active in uh in their reading that's called ping pong design <laughs> is it really no i'm just making it up <laughs> is it better than the car says he's the design master so i'm just going to tell everyone now that's called ping pong design everybody there we go <laughs> nice and then i mean need to make sure kyle why tell me a good reason why i should keep all of my um like text sizes consistent through this section well, I think it's just a general rule of, of good graphic design and good visual communication that you keep um, related elements or, or things that are meant to communicate the same kind of information or sections of information, et cetera, the same font and roughly the same size because it, it helps the reader um, basically distinguish this kind of information from that kind of information. Right. It would be like if your titles that you had, maybe you had a single sheet of um, a single poster you design with four sections. Each of the four sections should have a clear uh, hierarchy to the information that's being presented. Here's a title, and then here's a body copy. And right. if there's maybe some statistics, use either bullet points or use numbers and make them the same. It just helps to make everything organized and easy to read. Yeah, exactly that. And then again, like Carl showed before, if you go to the magic wand at the top on the iPad, it's the same. Just go to themes in the browser. I like the Wesley theme. That changes everything a little bit. And then you just go through and see what it looks like now. If you want to present it, present, and then you can see what it looks like. But we're going to wrap up now. You can see. Goes. I like how you're now. You know, it's funny. Yours, yours is doing that really cool thing where it can zoom in and zoom out and yeah that's the glide show isn't sure, it? I, like mine the glide. I think mine will do that with the glide show but even even before that you had other stuff moving kind of funny i liked it yeah, see maybe. how there's a little zoom effect there yeah there's a zoom effect on the image isn't there yeah. yeah nice right and then sharing you can play around with how to share that share your spark page create a public link this this actual toggle down here doesn't actually matter anymore because there's nothing being nothing being featured anymore uh, but go to create public link and then it will create a link and you can do what you want with that um show us how to do that very quickly on the ipad if you don't mind mr webster yes siri bob so um i did the same thing as you glide show easy peasy if i were to save it just a quick thing to point out is that um i intentionally found images right. that have room on the right and the left yeah so that you know, that way I knew that if I had this over here, my text would be on the right um, for this. My text would be on the left for that. My text would be on the left for that. So, if you, you know, if, if you think about that stuff, sometimes if you want to make those kinds of choices beforehand, go for it, whatever. It's not it's not a necessary thing, but it's always good to do a little thinking about that. Um, here we go. Share. Publish to web. That's what you want to do. Obviously, you should have a title. And I didn't. Shame on me. Um, you can give credits if you want, but this is the magic one right here. Create a link. And as uh, Dom showed you a moment ago, this is really simple because then you can take that link and share it with anybody anywhere. 
and they can learn some facts about the Titanic. Nice. Right. That is a wrap. So uh, let's just make sure that we um, work out what's going on here. Don't forget, subscribe so you can see all the live lessons as they come through. That's a really good thing to do. And also that's kind of blocking our faces. So that's nice. And then also don't forget the rules. Number two and number three are very important at the end here. There we go. Um, claim your swag. I'll be sending out an email. <laughs> I'll be sending out an email to all the teachers. So do pass them mercifully for your swag. It does exist. It will be there with you very shortly. And there is Kyle making a pen disappear from various places on his face. <laughs> Kyle, thank you very much. As always, any last uh, any last words of wisdom? Yes, you know, when the sun is shining, make hay. <laughs> there you go. A classic. Thank you very much, everyone. And we will see you on the next one. Don't forget to sign up for your next session. They're all going off this week. Thank you very That's much. That's right. <laughs>